Awesome. This next guy is very, very good. He does improv at the U of A. Put your hands together for the very talented Big Diesel. So uh, you guys gave Mark a hand for his hair, why don't you give me a hand for looking like the dad in that movie where he shrunk his kids with an attic laser. <laughs> Big Rick Moranis contingency in the audience tonight, good to see. I'm thinking of auditioning for the biofilm if they ever decide to make it. It's not gonna happen. Uh, I remember growing up uh, seeing a lot of movies and TV shows where um, two kids in high school would be assigned a project together where they'd have to take care of an egg for a week to simulate parenting. And I never, I never got that assignment in high school, but I really wanted it because I just would have taken the egg up to the teacher's desk and set it down and then just smashed it and been like, me and me and my partner are pro-choice. <laughs> We're gonna take our A now for being responsible teenagers. Thank you very much. We're gonna make an omelet, but we want to also make a statement. I ride, I ride the bus to school. I'm not fit to be a parent yet. Think about it. Yes, clap for that. Clap for, clap for responsible decisions. Which half of you won't be making because you'll be driving home drunk. Give yourself a hand for that, too. Uh. <laughs> My dad's a cop. You're all dumb. <laughs> He's waiting on the corner of Broadway and Albert on right now. Uh. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I wish there were less people in our society encouraging everyone to live their dreams. Because if you think about it, if everyone in the world was living their dream, there'd be like no garbage men. There'd be like backup dancers as far as the eye can see. And just like veterinarians and firefighters who are just unemployed. <laughs> Way too many of them. Is anyone here living their dream? Do you think anyone here Woo! living their dream? Yeah. Someone, who, someone who clapped for that, what's your dream in the back there? You get clapped. Someone's dream. What? What? Teacher? Your dream is to be a teacher. That's that's noble. That's fine. I'm sure you know a lot of people when they're growing up wanted to get thrown up and peed on by children, and they get paid very little for it. It's a good dream. I'm sorry. My mom's a teacher. Why am I doing this? Pent up rage against my mom, that's why. <laughs> my mom's a teacher, my dad's a cop. I couldn't get away with shit. <laughs> I got arrested once, my mom checked the spelling on the ticket. I got more trouble. I didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> My last joke was made up and it failed. <laughs> That's what happens. Sometimes stuff happens on stage and it's crazy and fun and live. Mm. Another thing I don't like is how uh, we're telling everyone that you should go to college. Like, there's, there's, a, there's a thing like everyone should go to college. I don't think everyone should go to college because there are jobs that will still be there that don't require a college education and I don't need those filled by some smart ass with a degree. I don't need to go to Circle K and get helped by a philosophy major. You know, he's just like, you know, I put like an 18 pack on the counter and he's just like, you know, at some point, every one of those will be half empty. And you're just like, give me my goddamn change, you asshole. And he just slides it over. None of us even exist. It doesn't matter. You know, I don't need some lady with a woman's studies degree who's down on her luck working in a strip club now because she has a useless major. You know, she's women's studies. She doesn't even take her clothes off and she just reads me biographies about Susan B. Anthony. 
I'm not letting that happen to me in a strip club again. <laughs> Turns out it was the library. <laughs> None of these even make sense anymore. <laughs> I'm just talking. <laughs> oh. It's kind of weird. Um, I've been thinking about how, like, when you quit a job, you're supposed to give two weeks' notice regardless of the job. I think the importance of the job should dictate how much advance time you give. Like, two weeks' notice isn't good if you're the president. You know what? Peace out in two weeks. I know we got like four more years to go, but. Lates. But in like the same vein, you should also, like, if your job is really like minimum wage, nothing, you shouldn't even have to give notice, you know? Like at McDonald's, don't, you shouldn't have to give a two weeks notice. McDonald's policy should be like, Call us in two weeks after you quit so we don't think you're dead. <laughs> that's all I have on that. And that's all I have for the night, everybody. Thank you very much. My name is Ben Beetle. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Give it up for Ben Dietzel. Wasn't he awesome?